Welcome back, my friends, for this next game. Uh, we like to call this one Trap the Mouse. So basically, these pink balls that you see here are gonna be the, the mouse for each player. And these are gonna be the traps, the pink mouse, and these are gonna be the trap. You don't have to be on court to do this. You can just be on your, uh, on your backyard, on your basement, at home, in some space where your kids can run. If you have the chance to go outside and play this, by all means, do it. Uh, we live on a four season weather, so we have to come up with a lot of indoors activities that will keep us going with this, all right? Are you ready? The first one to trap the mouse wins. Three, two, one, go, trap it. All right, so this one is also a little bit of dynamic balance. They gotta run. They have to accelerate, decelerate, and trap it. That gives them a lot of balance, which is ideal for tennis because in tennis you have to be, you know, fast to get to the ball. And as you're getting closer to the ball, you have to adjust and pretty much come to a almost full stop. Ready? Go! Ah! And the idea is that they don't let the ball pass. <laughs> they, the ball cannot touch. Let's say you give them a boundary. Let's say there's a wall or something or like a line or something. You, you give them that boundary, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, only when you hear the word go, you go. You understand? Go. Okay, only when you hear the word go, you go. Go! <laughs> you got it. Go! Oh no, I tricked them again. Uh, you gotta keep them guessing, okay? It's just my way to make it a little more fun and entertaining for them. All right, and that's how you play Trap the Mouse. If you have multiple players, you know, you can have three lines going at the same time and you just start rolling balls everywhere and they gotta trap it to see um, who catches the, the most amount of mice. All right, and that's how you play this game. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, my friends, so the next game that we have prepared is called volcanoes versus tornadoes or mountains versus valleys you might know it as two ways okay so basically this type of cone is going to represent if it's like this is going to be the mountain if it's like this is going to be the valley all right so as you can see olivia is standing behind her base and emma is standing behind her base the idea is that when i say go each one of them are going to run to the opposite side turn one upside down and touch their cone again and after let's say like 30 seconds or I will say maybe 40 seconds at most because it is rough uh, then you stop the game and you see who has more of their uh, either volcanoes or valleys okay so Olivia you are gonna be the valleys Emma you're gonna be the mountains or volcanoes and we're gonna see who wins on the count of three two and go all right, start flipping. Go touch the cone. Emma, why are you flipping your own? <laughs> and, and this happens a lot. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. No, she's not even flipping correctly. So that's where you get lost. All right, come on, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're gonna stop in six, five, four, Three, two, and stop. Okay, so Olivia, which ones were you? The ones like this, right? So you were the valleys. And Emma, which ones were you? Mountains. The mountains. So let's see, you have one, two, three, four mountains, five mountains, and you have one, two, three, four, five volcanoes. That is a tie, okay? So in case there is a tie, you can go to multiple rounds. Let's say that you have multiple players. Let's say you have four, six, eight players. You're always gonna have even players. You can do like a relay race. So one player goes out, flips, comes back. The other player goes out, flips, comes back. If you wanna do it the opposite way, let's say that you don't have that many players, but you wanna have just the two of them. And let's say they're small, like, you know, four or five years old, they're like beginners. You can do it without coming back to the base, okay? So let's do one super quick one on the super beginner version, the one that you used to play all the time, where you just flip the cones one after the other. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Start flipping, start flipping. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> okay. And this is a great way to keep them entertained. It is a great way to do a warm up where they're working on right now is a little bit of agility, but you give them like 20 seconds and then five, 
four, three, two, and stop. All right, we're gonna see what happened. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six mountains and five valleys. All right, good job. We got Emma with the lead on this one. Good job, and that's how you play mountains and valleys, volcanoes and tornadoes, as you want to wish, as you, as you, as you want to call it. All right, we'll see you in the next game. All right, my friends, for this next game, uh, we call this one hoops, all right? So basically, we have these rings. Um, I got these ones from Amazon again, not trying to sell stuff here uh, from Amazon products, but it's just, uh, this is worth having because I use it for an infinite amount of things. I use them for target practice, I use them for agility, ladders, everything else. And in this case, for these games, okay? So Olivia has six hoops over there, Emma has six hoops over here, and we're gonna use a soccer ball. You can also use a bouncy ball or even a tennis ball. But the idea is that she's gonna throw the ball over this line and try to make it bounce inside or hit one of you know Olivia's um, rings. If that happens, then we take it out. And the player that ends up with the least amount of rings or with no rings at all, loses, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ah, right, you gotta catch the ball that is coming from her side. Ready, go. All right. Oh, so right off the bat, she got one. We take one out. Ready, go. You, from the side of your body, yeah. Ready, go. Ooh, close. All right. So you're working on a little bit of coordination. Uh, they gotta be able to catch the ball. Uh, as I've said in previous activities, you don't have to do this on a tennis court. You can use any type. Did that hit the? No? Okay. You can use any type of court. You can do it at home, indoors. It's all up to you. Where do you find the space to do these things? As you can see, she just got another one. Now the score is one all. Go. Uh, if you want to make it a challenge, have them play against you. Meaning, um, let's say, girls, okay, if you get between the two of you, if you get two more rings in the next two minutes, you both win and you get a prize, all right? Something like that it takes the edge, you know, takes the pressure of, you know, going at each other and instead of deflects it on you on the challenge, all right? Oh no, sorry. Sorry guys. All right, well, we gotta go get the ball. It went into the other court. So that's how you play this game. I will right, see you in the next one too. All right, my friends, in the next game, we're gonna have, you're gonna see a lot of different versions of this game throughout our entire program because we use it for tennis-related purposes and non-tennis-related purposes. In this case, this is gonna be more of an athletic development part with coordination and throwing and catching uh, skills. So you see the cones over here? Those are our base cones and the opponent is gonna try to knock him out with the ball. Basically, you're gonna throw the ball. You can throw it either from the side of your body you can throw it with multiple bounces, but you have to throw the ball up in the air high. You cannot roll it on the ground, okay? So what we're gonna do is just try to get it. The other player is gonna catch it and he's gonna throw it and try to knock down the cone, yeah. And you gotta stay behind the white line so you can catch the ball that is coming to you, okay? This is gonna help your players at home, especially if they're little ones, they're gonna help, you know, with just accuracy and motor skills, trying to like aim with their entire body to a small object because throwing a large ball like this helps them with that skill. The first player to get the cone wins. Can I try one time? It looks like a lot of fun. Can I try it? Yeah. All right, are you ready? All right, maybe move back a little because I'm really good at this one. Check it out. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, I oh. And Good. Okay, well that's how you play this game. And obviously as soon as one of the ball, one of the cones is out, you can use different targets, you can use hoops as you wish. Alright, we'll see you in the next one.